Hey everybody, Chug Dude here. <clears throat> and today I have a Grim Life with me. As you can see, I have the Recon Scout in CP. Oh, let me rephrase that. I have the Cold Steel Recon Scout in CPM 3V. Overall length is 12 and a half inches, blade length is 7 and a half inches, blade thickness is 5 sixteenths of an inch. And the handle is five inches long and it's Cray X, Cray X handle. That's trademarked. Um, new Cold Steel logo here. I kind of like the new logo. Um, I don't mind the, uh, the company and everything being taken over by GSM or being bought out by GSM. Lynn Thompson still has a role in it. You know, you've seen that. Um, He's still doing videos with them. I think they're really, they've really listened and responded to people. Now, there's some people who just seem a bit, you know, I think this word's overused, but they, they're kind of toxic about it. They're like, ah, I'll never be the same again. Listen, we had a good run, and I think you're being a little dramatic. It's not like we're never going to see good knives from Cold Steel again. The knives they're coming out with right now aren't bad you know um let's see here that's what i was going to show you guys hey there we go so new banner uh cold steel anytime anywhere you know that's a good saying anytime anywhere anytime anywhere for what who knows could be anything could be somebody asking you for a sandwich anytime anywhere we're committed but no, I like the new stuff they're coming out with them. I've seen the the knives they've shown at Blade Show. I'm very interested in them. I want to see the new Atlas lock and see how it performs. I'm holding off judgment until I see all these things. Uh, their new knives look pretty neat. Um, and a lot of people jump on them and say, oh, they look cheap. They look like mall knives uh, or gas station knives, I mean. And, and I just want to reference you guys to uh, where I found out about Cold Steel was in a mall. You know, typical mall ninja stuff. So it's not really a change of pace for me. I've never seen it as a change of pace. And the thing is, they're really, you know, I was even worried in the beginning until I, I saw that they were taking the criticism. A lot of it was not constructive. Uh, a lot of it was kind of like demeaning. But they're taking the, you know, the criticism uh, in stride and they're trying to make better products. So I'm holding off judgment for the next five years, man. I'm, as long as they put out good material, everybody can complain about it. And I'll just enjoy the, the knives. I'll enjoy everything they put out that I like, you know. But let me get off my soapbox. This is the Recon Scout. And as you can see, I, I am calling this an unboxing, but I couldn't wait for you guys. I'm sorry. I had to unbox it. Here it is. If you need a comparison, I have a cold, this is my first cold steel knife, Recon 1 and Aus 8. Uh, I've beaten the hell out of it. Uh, also, I am thinking about getting a custom sheath, which that'd be one complaint I'd have with cold steel. I've heard so many people talk about that they dole their knives. Um, I've not experienced that yet, but I've only been able to get it in the sheath and out of the sheath like one time. And I felt like it was so risky. I felt like I was going to cut my hand off when I was doing it. Because it, I mean, it is locked in this thing. And maybe it just takes a little bit of breaking in. I'm not sure. But it holds it tight. But I'm, I'm real worried about it dulling the knife. So I think I'm just going to get a custom sheath made. A uh, guy named, uh, not his name, his channel's Black Bear Kydex. I believe, Black Bear Custom Kydex on YouTube. He does a lot of custom sheaths and... I'm really interested in getting one made. So another knife right here is the Moral Garberg, which would probably be my bushcraft knife. Uh, fairly cheap, it's a hundred and something dollars. Oh wait, silly chug dude. Let's see the knife. Schwank. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. This thing is so amazing. I love the handle. They have a sharpened swedge, so this thing can be used for outdoor activities and also combat, just in case you run into any 
I don't know, bears in the woods and you don't have a gun for some reason. Uh, this would be a deterrent, although you have to get mighty close to a bear to deter him with this thing. Uh, that's uncomfortably close. I would almost recommend having a shield with you as well if you were going to take that route. Some sort of shield, like a big shield, you know, like one of the Spartan circular shields you would need. Mm. And uh, it's not very, for a bear, it's not very rangy. You probably wouldn't, you really got to get in there. You know, you got to commit. Um, oh, put this away. Set that there. Get another one out. There's your little bench made crooked reaver. Uh, other size comparisons. Anyway, it's, it's kind of been a grail knife of mine. I want this one in the Trailmaster, uh, but I could not. Like, ideally, I wanted the Trailmaster, but when I saw the deal on this thing, I had to hop on it. So if you go to Blade HQ, which, you know, I'm not, like, against Blade HQ or anything. I order plenty of knives from them. But if you go to them, I'll show you the price. Oop, if I can. Can you see it? Yeah, right here. $403. Marked down for four, from $475, right? But if you go to Midway USA, exact same knife, man. Exact same knife. What do you see? $199. Their prices are like 306 Their price is already cheaper than Blade HQ's price after they had marked it down. So I saw this deal and I was like, ooh, and it's 3V? Like... Oh man, I have to hop on this. So that's what I did. I saw it and I was like, ah, you know, I can make a little bit of sacrifices this month. I can get this thing. I've been looking for a knife that I can add to my collection. That's I, I, I've been a huge pocket knife guy. I mean, I have just tons and tons of pocket knives, but I don't have a lot of full tang blades, you know. Here's another one I can compare it to. So if you can zoom in, there's a little, it says 3B right there. I'm not gonna, my phone is kind of wacky with zooming, so I'm not even gonna try it. But so far, this is the only knife I had, and it, uh, this is the K bar. This is not the only knife I had. Let me rephrase that. This is the only fixed blade knife. That was a buoy style that I owned. And I liked it. It's worked in the past, you know, but it's chipped and rolled. It just seems like a, I don't know, the steel wasn't great on it. I think it's 1277. It's made in Taiwan. Uh, I don't even know what 1277 is, if I'm being honest. But the thickness, it's a lot thicker in the recon. Now it is slightly shorter than the K-Bar, but that's okay. I was looking for something a little compact because I'm not going to hack away the tree with a knife. I understand some people are advocates of, the, of it. You know, some people, some sheepdogs are advocates of it, but I'm going to use a knife for knife activities. And if I need to do some ax work, I got this guy, you know? And just use him so i think this is a good little combo uh if i can also get bring this guy with me my little my little bush crafter you know this an ideal little combination you know keeping it fairly lightweight i think whew, i don't know yeah axe heavier or the hatchet's heavier but this is all you really need I mean, even for a little bit of bushcraft work, it would probably be a little bit difficult to whittle with this, but I have that if I want to split some logs or anything of the sort. And so again, I, the handle, I love the handle. Blade, I love the blade shape. I love the sharpened choil. I love the sharp spine. The only 
not it's not really a qualm it's like a petty little thought is i wish it was convex that's it that's all i wish i wish it was a convex knife um besides that it is beautiful it's great i can't wait to get out and use it and then i can give you better reviews uh maybe put my own edge on it i haven't even stropped it or anything so it's it's pretty it's pretty sharp out of the box. Uh, I believe I was shaving my arm hairs earlier with it. But it's just a beautiful knife, man. I, I saw the deal. I even had to tell, tell uh, Jimmy Slash about the deal. You know, he knows about Midway USA, but I just had to let him know. I was like, yo, this thing, is this, I had to ask him. I was like, because he's more of a cold steel aficionado than I am. I was like, is this real? Like, is this price that they have correct? And he was like, yeah. Yeah, it seems to be. <laughs> so, I'm super. I mean, I can't. This video is pretty much me just gushing about this knife. But I knew I'd love this handle. Uh, some people complain about it. I saw it and I was like, I'm kind of not big. And, you know, it's all personal preference. People love the the custom handles, like from uh, Crooked River and everything. And I've, I've owned several Crooked Rivers. I, I still own a Crooked River. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's right here. And you know, what is this? I figured this guy's called. Yeah, but I, uh, which one was this? This was the, uh, JX6 Companion. There you go. And you know, this is a good knife. I could probably interchange this and this, you know, little small activities out at the campsite. Um, and I really, really like this knife. It's a good knife. But the bigger knives that Bark River have, they have these slick, slick handles. And I just, they're ergonomic, but I just, I don't know. It's the feel, the vibe. I'm not the biggest fan. And, you know, people might convince me otherwise in the future. I'm not... I'm a flip flopper, but I saw this handle and I really thought I'd enjoy it. Anyway, this is just me showing off this new knife pretty much. Uh, it is dope. I can't wait to get out and use it. And I'll be coming to you guys later with updates on the readiness trials, the Redcon one readiness trials. So far I've been doing keto. Um, I caught COVID <laughs> in the beginning, so I was kind of, you know, messed up from that, but, uh, I'm over it now and I've been doing keto and intermittent fasting and working out. So we'll see what my weight's at Monday. I started at 272. I'm hoping to be around, oh, sorry, choking. hoping to be around 250 I mean I think I'm getting my my hopes up but I'd like to be around 250 eventually getting back down to the good old 200 days I can't be arm wrestling with these monsters at heavyweight but again if you guys get a chance I would definitely recommend this knife um, I'm gonna get out and use it show it off and I'm hoping midway you say when they get the Trailmaster in 3v i hope they do the same thing with the price because i might have to hop on that one as well anyway i appreciate you guys i appreciate you guys tuning in sorry my my voice is going a little bit uh it's been a long day at work but take it easy and don't be sleazy <laughs>